So the university is in the top 10. Uh, for a, you know, a, for a 30, for a 50 year old university, it's not bad. Don't. So we're doing really well. The other hat of mine, <coughs> which Viv mentioned, was I was the first external examiner. Now the course is 30 years old. I was only nine. <laughs> it was a lot of fun as a nine-year-old. And given what I saw, really a nine-year-old could have had a lot of fun. <laughs> Because it was all touchy feely stuff. It was unbelievable. Remember, it was kind of, you know, a, a decade after kind of Vietnam, flower power, and all that kind of stuff. And it was all touchy feely things. I remember one of the things, and I was supposed to do these, I, uh, the assessments and look at the assessments. And I remember saying, and I can't remember if it was to Mike or to Richard Booth, I can't remember who it was. I said, How did you come to get these grades? Because I noticed. Everybody got A's, <laughs> or all got B's, or something. And he said, they made the decision themselves about what to award. You know, the peer thing. Oh, this was really great. So I took it back to my university, you missed it, didn't exactly buy it. <laughs> you know, but it was really quite a lot of fun. And it was a lot of, you know, touchy-feely, experiential, key groupy. I mean, the older ones, if you remember that stuff that went on and, and it was as an external examiner I just had to throw everything away and say well you just go with the bloody flow here <laughs> these are crazy people <laughs> a crazy course but I wish I was on it <laughs> uh, so it, it was it was a hell of a lot of fun and I and I kind of really enjoyed it I'll give you a, a sense Mark is going to talk more specifically about it but give you a sense of the period we're operating in. and we're talking about management learning and leadership right and of the time, there's something that would profoundly affected <coughs> me about that era, which I wish we had back in terms of leadership in the UK or Europe, which I don't think we really have. I don't think we have real proper leadership. We need a lot more of it. Uh, anybody watching Robinson will know that. Uh, I was just watching it actually. It's uh, unbelievable listening to Jerry and uh, But anyway, um, this is quite interesting. Listen to this of the era. This was about 10 years prior to the formation, really, of things like the T group experiential movement, mammal and everything else. This was Bobby Kennedy's speech when he was going to one of the universities just before he got assassinated. All right? Which shows you, I think, a lot about leadership. It tells you something about the era when, in a sense, we were influenced, many of us in the 1970s and 80s. This is the most profound speech I think I've ever heard by any politician. He says, too much and for too long we seem to have surrendered personal excellence and community values in the mere accumulation of material things. Our gross national product now is $800 billion a year. And that gross national product, if we judge the United States of America by that, that gross national product counts air pollution and cigarette smoking and ambulances to clear our highways of carnage. It counts special locks for our doors and the jails for the people who break them. It counts the destruction of the redwood and the loss of our natural wonder of chaotic sprawl. It counts napalm and counts nuclear warheads and armored cars for the police to fight the riots in our streets. Yet that GNP, that gross national product, does not allow for the health of our children, the quality of their education, or the joy of their play. It does not include the beauty of our poetry or the strength of our marriages, the intelligence of our public debate, or the integrity of our public officials. It measures neither our wit nor our courage, neither our wisdom nor our learning, neither our compassion nor our devotion to our country. It measures everything, in short, except that which makes life worthwhile. Isn't that interesting? What a powerful speech. And I think it was in that era that really things like mammal developed. And we need more of it. Anyway, have a great day. And I'm now going to hand over to the maestro, Mark Easton.